Hello and welcome to the Pegasus Bridge uh, Saturday night question time with me Lance Nilsson, your writer director of the film. I've got members of the Pegasus production team here with me and we're here to answer your questions. So we're going to start off with Giles Leffrey and he asks, when will the movie be coming out? And we're going to go over to our French production team to answer that question. So the movie will be out uh, late 2017 and for our French viewers, the film sortira à la fin 2017. Fantastic. Our second question is from Roy Higgins. He asks, will you use actors or ex-army veterans as extras in the film? Who's going to answer that? Uh, I will. Okay, Nicola. Nicola Gregory, the producer, one of the producers. Uh, thanks for your question, uh, Roy. Um, actually, we will be using all three. Uh, we will have actors as well as uh, ex-military and uh, reenactors to play uh, the extras. Yeah, but we're not using any extras from extras agencies. It's either reenactors or actors. Right. Some of whom are ex-military, I think. Okay, great. So our third question is from Michael Waring. Um, why choose this battle from D-Day when there were so many different heroic uh, actions that took place? Uh, Michael, I'll, I'll answer that one because I wrote the script. Um, I've been interested in Pegasus Bridge since I saw The Longest Day. Um, as a kid, I've always wanted to um, do something about D-Day. I've followed uh, D-Day and studied it intensively since I was a teenager. And uh, I just decided that there needed to be a film about the subject in the longest day. It's very, very brief. Uh, we're doing a film that is uh, incredible in detail, has a plethora of stories and characters. There's 76 actors in the, in the film, um, and it covers far more than just Pegasus Bridge. So it's a story that needs to be told for the present generation. Um, they know nothing about the film The Longest Day, and they don't know much about Pegasus Bridge either, so we are passing on that story from one generation to the next. That's why we're making this film. The next question is from Des Edwards, regular contributor to our forum. We like Des's questions. Was very uh, sensible and precise. Sometimes a bit scary, but it's okay. <laughs> what is the time period in which the movie is set? Who's going to answer that one? I can answer that one. Um, thank you for the question, Des. So the time period for the film is from the 2nd of May 1944 when Major John Howard first receives his objective through to the evening of the 6th of June but most of the, um, the film takes place on the 5th and the 6th of June 1944. Fantastic, brilliant. Our fifth question uh, is from Angus Black. He asks, are we using any miniatures to replicate military vehicles or aircraft in the movie? You're gonna Turn over to one of the guys working on our uh, visual effects department. Yeah, Ollie, it's, uh, yeah, it's a very good question. Um, from a technical standpoint, miniatures uh, integrated with CGI it can create some incredible results. But what you find is if you get into miniatures, you'll find that you'll see the budget reduce quite quickly as you're going to do lots of detail, spending all time on making it look realistic. But what we're going to do is not use miniatures, but we're going to use an amalgamation of different techniques to create um, results that will look amazing in the end. Thank you, Ollie. And Steve Begg, who's probably the best miniatures guy in the business, is too expensive, really, for us, unfortunately. Um, good though he is. Hans Korting, Kurting, Korting, who came to our premiere of our last feature film, The Journey, we love Hans. He asks, are any real German vehicles going to be used in the movie? What are they? Uh, care to answer that one, David? Yeah, um, thanks Hans. Uh, exciting, yes, definitely. Real German vehicles. Uh, half tracks, uh, Kuba wagons, uh, which is my favourite, and um, uh, Marder 3s, and uh, everyone else's favourite, uh, Panzer 4s. Real yeah, tanks. but the yeah. Panzer 4s are, are not going to be seen attacking the bridge, they're going to be seen elsewhere in the movie. You'll have to watch the movie to find out where. <laughs> Okay, finally, uh, question another one. I think this is kind of the second question, but we're going to take it anyway. Who's playing the role of Major Howard? That is one of the lead characters. Not the only lead character in the film, he's one of the lead characters. Uh, would you care to answer that, uh, Nicola? Who's playing the role I'm of Major Howard? I've got a mic answer, 
Oh, yeah, uh, how about the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, how about you, Mr. Right. Right. okay, yeah, yeah, no worries. Uh, who's the question from? Uh, it's from Persons Unknown. Persons Unknown, okay, Persons Unknown, next time when you put your question in, uh, pop your name on, because we really are thankful for your questions. Um, so, in terms of who's going to play Major John Howard, uh, at the moment, uh, obviously we're very early on in terms of the production, so we're keeping the casting and who plays which character very close to our chest, or Elise Lance is, who's the director. So um, it's something that you will find out over the coming months. Um, we have some very exciting names put in the hat, and we, as a production, are very excited to uh, discover this ourselves. So stay tuned. Um, I can assure you, you won't be disappointed uh, based on what I'm hearing. So yeah, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised as to whoever chooses to fill those big, big shoes, heroic shoes. Uh, on the uh, on the final on the final sort of production, so yeah, stay tuned. And to add to that, we will not begin casting until next year on the sixth of June. So that's sixth of June, twenty sixteen. Yeah, and our casting director is Sharon Sorrentino. So uh, writing to us and asking us for parts is, you know, it's not going to happen. Um, we have got some actors involved in the film already. They've done. <laughs> Bless you, <laughs> Bless you, David. Sorry. They don't even know which roles they're playing yet. There's a couple of actors that are, are involved in the film. Jason Fleming is, is one of them. Um, but none of the actual roles have been allocated yet. Mike knows that he's playing third German from the left. He's got a great line in the film. Oh! Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, um, yeah, seriously. So the, the casting is not starting until next summer, as, as Nicholas said. Okay, so that's Saturday question time. We're going to do these every Saturday. They're not always going to be on video. Um, we've got loads of video diaries coming for you from our recce trip in Normandy. I think the momentum for the film is going to build pretty fast from here on in. Um, you might think this is a small team that you're looking at right now, but actually our team is 36 people. It's much, much, much bigger than this. Lots more stuff to come. Uh, we look forward to uh, telling you more about the film. We look forward to answering more of your questions. Stay tuned. What's our Twitter handle? At underscore Pegasus Bridge. There we are. And of course, well, you know if you're watching this video, we're on Facebook, Pegasus Bridge, the movie, in case you've seen this video on YouTube, because we're going to put it on YouTube as well. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, we'll speak to you again. Uh, cheers from Normandy. Cheers. Uh, cheers. Thank you. Thanks for supporting our film. We are going to do it proud. Ham and jam. Ham and jam. Ham and jam. Ham and jam.